Good morning, Garfield, and good morning, Bravehearts. You know who it is. I'm Marv, the producer, creative director, and owner of Brave Burry Studios. How are we doing out there today? Welcome back to Marv in the Morning. Amazing episode for you today. Amazing energy. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling good. Welcome back. Yes, indeed. So, uh, how's everybody doing out there? How's everybody doing? Once again, make sure you like, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you give us a subscription, subscribe, it's free. It's free to subscribe to this channel. Who would have thought, right? It's free. And also leave a comment. Leave, say something in the chat. Say what's up. Give us a big hello. Uh, welcome back. Just checking out my audio there. So making sure it sounds good. Yes, indeed. Welcome back. Man, it feels so good to be doing this again. I'm going to say it's probably every episode of the first week. Messiah is in the building. The dark Messiah is in the building. The, the OG. OG Braveheart. OG Otre Hill. This man was part of Bravery Studios before I was even part of Bravery Studios. Shout out to the Messiah, man. Make sure you guys check out Otre Hill's Wrestling Podcast. Yeah, man. Those are the OGs right there. Those are the OGs. Hella love for the uh, Shout out to Dark, man. Shout out to Dark. Yo, Spin the Block is in the building. Top of the top. <laughs> spin the Block is on the check-in. What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back, bro. Welcome back. We got Derek, D-Real. Now, let's... Oh, my God, D-Real. Yo, this guy is the pioneer. This man is the, uh, the uh, architect of the Bravery Studio style of podcast production this man set it up for us he let the group he laid the blue <laughs> he laid the blueprint down he laid the blueprint down that man is a, a, a legend salute to you sir salute to everybody in the chat thank you for checking in episode four marv in the morning great episode for you guys today we're going to be talking about how long should you be making your podcast episode how long how long should your podcast episodes be? Man, so happy to be here right now, guys. I'm so happy to be here. So happy to be here and alive. Uh, uh, thankful to the higher powers for granting me another day. Um, thankful to be where I'm at in life. Listen, man, if I could be any in the world, anywhere in the world doing anything, I would be right here doing exactly what I'm doing right now because I love this life so much. I wouldn't trade it for any jazz any jazz i wouldn't trade it i would not trade it but yeah man shout out to everybody in the check-in shout out to darf shout out to d real Derek, dj Didi. damn uh, i love seeing his name in the chat there the one and only the blueprint the blueprint shout out to spin the block so guys yes indeed today's episode is how long should you be making your podcast episodes um a couple announcements before we start um once again guys make sure you like make sure you give us the video a thumbs up make sure you uh hit that subscription button if you're not subscribed already and make sure you leave a comment and uh throw questions in the chat if you have any questions concerning podcasting whatsoever if you don't even know what podcasting is just write that in the chat like hey what what is podcasting w what is this thing blessings hashtag Derek. i need i need you in the studio bro i want to interview you uh if you have a free saturday afternoon man i need you in the studio for an interview ASAP. A S A P explanation point, explanation point, explanation point immediately. So yeah, D, we, we got to talk about the journey you've been on, man, the journey and, uh, and, uh, pretty much checking in with you, man, mental health check and all that jazz, you know, mental health check. So let me know, brother, let me know, let me know when you're ready for that. Uh, what else we got on the agenda today? Um, Guys, we're Bravery Studios. We are a podcast production company. We're the best in Jersey. I, I say that with my chest out. As a matter, I, let me extend my arms a little bit when I say it. We are the best podcast production studio in New Jerusalem. Like, listen, uh, yeah, guys. So if you want to start a podcast, if it's been living rent free in your mind, this idea to to uh, get on the mic, start a podcast, uh, change the world. Bravery Studios is where you should get started. Bravery Studios is the place where all you have to do is come here and talk. Let us handle the rest. We'll record your voice as you do what you do. 
You bring the content, we'll handle the production. We handle thumbnails, graphics, logos, uploading, scheduling releases. We handle your YouTube, Apple, your Spotify, any of those other podcasting platforms. We do it all. So all you have to do is come here and speak. You know, you do the talking, you leave the rest to us. All right. We also have an event space here that you can rent. We have a, a, a nice community that you can be a part of, collaborate with other podcasters here. There are 20 podcasts that record here weekly. That's 20 podcasts. Illis Girls, Goodfellas, uh, 973 Vibes, That One Piece Talk, Ultra Hills Wrestling Podcast. Listen, join the community. Join the family. Start your podcast today at Bravery Studios. This is what we do, and we're the best at it. And I, Once again, I say that with my chest outward. Bing bong, right? Okay. On to the next thing. Guys, I started a Discord for Bravery Studios as well. Um, we're looking to grow it. This is the place where you're going to have direct access to asking me questions all the time. I'm going to be in there all day, every day, answering and chopping it up with everyone in the Discord. Uh, the link is in the description. The bot will probably put it in the chat eventually as well. Uh, join the Discord. This is also the place where you can submit your podcast episodes to me for me to review. Uh, I have one episode that was submitted to me yesterday uh, by DX the Great, and I'm going to check it out eventually in this episode later on. And um, I want to do this every day. I want to listen to a new podcast that I have not heard before. Uh, today, I the first thing I did when I woke up is I listened to that podcast. I, I gave it a nice in-depth focus, uh, uh, hyper fixation so that I can give you guys a review on it today. Um, even though this one's going to be a little bit biased considering this is my bro, DX the Great, that submitted this podcast to me. He's not on the podcast, but the fact that it came from his hands, uh, it's going to give me a biased opinion on it. But uh, uh, shout out to DX the Great. But once again, yes, Discord, Discord link is in the chat. I mean, in the chat, in the description. It'll probably be in the chat eventually with the bot there. But uh, it's in the description. So make sure you check that out. Join us. Join the community. Get part of it. Be a part of it. Okay. The daily shout out. I love doing the daily shout out, man. I love seeing people's reactions to it on social media once it's posted. I hope that these people that are getting shout out, shot out, shout out. How do you how do you say that in the past tense? Shout it out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I hope that the people that I'm shouting out are checking out the full episode because I'm definitely going much more in depth with my uh, uh, descriptions of them in the actual episode than I am in social media. Uh, on Instagram, you can only make a minute and a half uh, clip. On on TikTok, you can make a ten minute clip, but I don't know why you would want to make a ten minute click on uh, clip on TikTok. But they give you the ability to if you wanted to, and uh, and on YouTube, it's only a minute for shorts. YouTube only gives you a minute for shorts. Isn't that interesting? Like the platform that is that is uh, primarily for for long um, form videos only gives you one minute for for uh, for clips. Hey, whatever flows their boat, right? But today I I, I uh, am actually not shouting out an actual podcast, but someone that was a guest on a podcast here yesterday. She walked through that door with so much energy, and uh, and uh, I absolutely fell in love with her energy. It was just monumental mondo energy mondo big boss energy and big boss energy so yeah well look i got the music on the screen i forgot to change it over <laughs> so yeah guys let's give a big shout out to big jenny um her uh her thing is eating whatever you want and being healthy doing so so uh you know she walked in here yesterday she was a guest on a podcast tremendous energy uh tremendous spirits biker fitness all that jazz and uh i yeah like i i totally dig what she's doing she is eating whatever she wants but maintaining healthiness maintaining uh uh you know a healthy lifestyle doing yoga she show, she's demonstrating that you don't have to sacrifice what you like to eat to be healthy you don't have to give up everything to be healthy and uh i absolutely love it and i've been living by this too I uh, have not really gone in depth with it, but I have been intermediate fasting for the past year um, and it's it's working better than anything I've ever done in my life. I am down to 240 pounds and I was at 300 pounds uh, in the pandemic. I was at 300 pounds. So now I'm at 240. So I've lost 60 pounds over the course of a year and uh, and I feel great. I wouldn't even probably be doing this podcast or this YouTube series live if 
I didn't do intermediate fasting. Once I got an air fryer and I, I just made a decision that, that I'm going to do intermediate fasting and I'm going to take walks in the morning. Those two combined, uh, I definitely exercise too. I definitely try to, to stay in motion as well. Because uh, in this job, you can be tied to a chair for 24 hours, honestly. But uh, intermediate fasting has definitely changed my life. And um, yeah, and shout out to uh, to Big Jenny. She yo, she really was in here bossing me around like she ran the place. So, <laughs> you know, I, I I dig I dig the energy. I dig the spirits. Check her out. Follow her on uh, Instagram. Her Instagram is just Big Jenny B I G J E N N I. And uh, you know I, I you know I told her like hey listen we got we got to work on something in the future. So let's make that happen. Let's look at this dish right here. Look at this look at this magic. Eating all that and still being healthy. Look at this. <laughs> Plantain sandwiches over here. And she's Dominican. So, like, listen. I, I'm i Dominican. I don't know if I say it enough on here. But I am 100% Dominican and 100% love it. I absolutely love it. And, uh, uh, and, yeah, when I see another Dominican, another creative, another person doing amazing jazz that's from where I'm from, you know, I, you know, I, I instantly... Say, yeah, oh, I got to I got to I got to hook up with this person. I got to link up with them and uh, we got to make magic together. So, yeah, shout out to Big Jenny. Shout out to her. She really walked in here with so much energy. Uh, I, I felt like she was going to take over the place while she was here for only like two hours. <laughs> I was going to hand her the keys to the building. But, yeah, man, shout out to her. Shout out to her. And that's the daily shout out for today. Um, OK, let's get into the podcast review now. Uh, I had mentioned earlier that uh, my bro. My brother, my pal, uh, DX the Great, member of the It's Friday Super podcast. Um, he he had hit me up, Dominican. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just to solve it, man. Ifasi, Ifasi, Derek. <laughs> That's what me and Derek used to say all the time. Ifasi. But yeah, shout out to Big Jenny. Um, and uh, yeah, so DX the Great submitted his brother's podcast to me. Um, Slim Talk the Pod. He had texted me earlier in the day and was like, hey, man, my bro is really enjoying all the information you're sharing on Marvin in the morning. He's finding it very helpful. And uh, yeah, he's digging it. He's digging it. So. Um, so uh, how you call it? He I was like, yeah, I, you had mentioned before in the past that your brother had a podcast, but you never really sent it to me for me to listen to. So he finally sent me an episode. I, I gave it a, a, a good listen this morning right before recording. Actually, as I was setting up. I, it takes a lot of setup to do this every morning, honestly. Just the lights and cameras and uh, all the jazz you see around here, creating a thumbnail. I do it all like an hour before showtime. Cool chick, been following her for a couple of years. Shout out to Darv following Big Jenny. Look at look at Darv over here. Darv is connected guy. You got to stay close to Darv. This guy knows what's going on in the world. <laughs> I love that guy. But uh, but yeah, DX the Great um, sent in his bros podcast. It's called Slim Talk The Pod. So here it is here, right? Uh, we got a cookies message at the bottom there. And uh, yeah, I gave it a good listen. No, I think it's playing on a different bad palaces, last ass You see what happens with Spotify? You're only ever going to live the life that you create for yourself. You're only going to be able to live the life you create for yourself. I'm just getting started. Welcome back, son. So, you know, He's sitting I don't down know with, if uh, have with have Janelle and Jolie. I was actually in the process of listening to this full episode. Let me not speak over it real quick. I was actually in the process of listening to this episode, but I actually listened to the entire episode that he did of his uh, with DX with his brother, and uh, I was definitely enjoying it. Um, these guys were were speaking about uh, their family history and uh, and giving good like little hood stories. I mean, uh, so apparently some guy got beat up coming out of a taxi or getting into a taxi. I don't really <laughs> know the full extent of it, but uh, definitely a good listen. And uh, one thing I learned about Slim is don't ever hand this man uh, a cauliflower chicken wing. <laughs> don't ever hand him. I've never even seen in person a cauliflower chicken wing. But, but the way that food is going nowadays, I I can only imagine what that looks like. I can only <laughs> I can only imagine what a cauliflower chicken wing looks like. So, yeah, if you guys want to um, show the bro some love, um, support his podcast. He's a member of the family. Like, listen, you're DX's bro. Listen, DX is my bro. Like I would jump out of a, I would jump off of a trampoline inside of a helicopter <laughs> for that man. If he asked me to, if he DX came up to me and said, 
Yo, Marv, jump off of a trampoline that's in a helicopter. I would do it because I love DX that much. That much. Why would there be a trampoline in a helicopter? Who knows? But I would do it if he asked. <laughs> I would definitely do it if he asked. DX the Great is the Memphis Bleak of Bravery Studios. And I mean that in the uh, in, uh, in the kindest way possible because uh, maybe Memphis Bleak has a bad rap or whatever. But, but when, DX, when uh, Jay-Z said, uh, you know... As long as I'm alive, he's a millionaire. Even if I'm not alive, it's in my will somewhere. That's how I feel about DX the Great. If I make it, that man makes it. That That's my bro right there. So shout out to his bro. Uh, and shout out to his podcast, Slim Talk the Pod. Check him out on Spotify. Great episode with him and his bro, DX. Just talking about family history, their father being a Rolling Stone and all that jazz. Really enjoyed it. DX is my guy. Yeah, you got to love the guy. You got to love him. DX actually went into, on that episode... The uh, the uh, the origins of of the name and the gimmick and uh, the whole process of him finding his identity. He said he hated he hated fitted. So he got a bucket hat. He said it's 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 360 degrees protection from the sun. And I was like, that makes so much sense. I never understood. <laughs> that makes so much sense. That's Mondo sense right there. That makes Mondo sense right there. So, yeah, shout out to DX. Love the guy. He's an awesome dude. The absolute best, man. Yeah, I. I and he's a day one -er, man. Him, just like Darth and Derek, man. DX has been here since the OG days, the island days in Patterson. Bars, Hove. Yes, Darth is a big, big, probably the biggest Hove fan I know. I'm a Nas fan, but I, I give credit where credit is due. Hove got some bars. Hove has bars. And DX is definitely the Memphis Bleak of Bravery Studios. So, onward we press. The Valor Room. You can look... Right there, we have a donation ticker for the construction and renovation of the Valor Room. Um, hey, if you want to contribute to the to building this room out, we want to have a second space here in Bravery Studios. We are we are uh, uh, attempting to have a more modern look there. Just a couch setup, speed racer picture on the wall. The world is yours. Speaking of Nas, the world is yours is my favorite Nas song. I spoke about this on. Uh, Afternoon FM with Matt over there at Prototype. Building three. Yes. <laughs> building three. Island days, man. Yes. Building three. Building. Bro, shout out to Cause. I got to get Cause over here soon, man. But yes, the world is yours. Favorite Nas song. So that has to go on the wall over there. Neon lights. Couch setup. Piano coffee table. I love that piano coffee table. I can't wait to see that in person here. And, uh, and uh, you know, we're going to make this room happen. So, yeah, if you want to contribute, we'll put your name on the wall. We'll say this room was built with the contributions of XYZ and John Doe and Jane Doe and all that jazz. So, yeah, there's a link in the description and there will be a link popping into the chat eventually at some point. So make sure you check that out. Um, and then let's hey, let's roll over into the meat and potatoes of this episode. How long should your podcast episodes be? How long should your podcast episodes be? Now, listen, this, this is a, this is a easy answer. This is a very easy answer. Your podcast episodes should be as long as you want them to be. Oh, Marv, you're wasting our time over here. What's with this, uh, baby food answer over here. <laughs> Chill, dog. What's with this baby food answer over here? Listen. To go more in depth, to go way more in depth with this, um, there's no, there's no wrong answer for this question. How long your episode should be? What you really need to ask yourself, other than how long they should be, how long can you do it for? Um, and how long can you be consistent with that time? Because remember, it's not about how long your episode is; it's how consistent they are and how consistent you're releasing them. If you're recording. A three hour podcast like Joe Rogan or, uh, you know, like uh, like Nori, uh, you know, how long can you do that for? Can you do that same time, same day, every day of the week and release it at the same time, same day of the week? Because that's really what it comes down to. Or can you make clips of that for social media? Can you put that on TikTok? Can you can you can you go back and search through a three hour video to make clips of it? Now, if. Um, if you have a, a half an hour episode, hey, watching the whole thing back, like what I do for for here for uh, 
for Marvin the Morning. They're like 30 to 40 minutes, these episodes. When I go back and watch it, um, it doesn't take me three hours. I'm not, I'm not spending three hours rewatching it, trying to find the best moments of it, right? I'm only spending 40 minutes. Now, can you go back and rewatch a three-hour episode and pick out the best highlights of it? Do you have a timekeeper with you to do that with you? Um, can you can you dedicate more than an hour to it? I usually tell people when they're starting, try to go for a 45 to hour long episodes when you're first starting out, when you're first starting. Um, you know, that way you don't overwhelm yourself. That way you you leave it short and sweet so you don't run out of things to say during the show. You don't run out of questions. Um, you don't have to insert any filler and anything like that to it, right? Um, but realistically, um, you know, you, a lot of people walk into the building and think that, uh, hey, if I make my episodes too long, no one will watch them if I put it on YouTube. Um, okay, so is, is YouTube your primary focus for your podcast? Does YouTube have the largest amount, the biggest audience uh, for your show? Is that where you're hoping to get the most traction because the majority of podcast listeners are on Apple, Apple and Spotify. YouTube is probably third for podcasting. So if you're going to shorten your episodes on YouTube, are you shortening them on Apple as well? And now we're talking about Apple and Spotify. We're talking about audio only platforms. Well, Spotify is actually adding video now. Actually, they have added video. It's, it's, it's a thing now on Anyone can upload a video to Spotify now. Uh, but if you're going to shorten your, your episode, you really got to think, you really got to think, uh, you really got to think about who's listening to this at what time. Podcast listeners, people that only listen to podcasts, um, they're doing it at work. They are doing it at the gym. They're doing it on walks to the park. They're doing it cleaning the house. Podcast listeners are usually doing something while they are listening, while they are listening, right? They're not just sitting there listening to it on the couch with headphones on. Listeners are doing it during a commute, drive, exercise, work. Now, if I'm at work and I'm listening to a podcast, it's only 30 minutes. It's kind of going to womp when I have to go back into my phone and hit the next episode if I'm only doing 30 minute episodes or find another thing to listen to because this person only uploads 30 minutes every week. Uh, if I'm on a long drive, I may not be able to dig back into my phone and find something else to listen to on Spotify. I think we need to think of audio platforms uh, separately from like video platforms because I prefer, I actually prefer on a long drive to have a long podcast episode. I want that rich content that you know has legs i can listen to it for a long time going for a long drive or if i'm at work i remember when i was working in a uh in a sign shop i was there sanding metal all day and i wanted to listen to long form content because i if i pulled my phone out of my pocket if i pulled my phone out of my pocket my boss would kill me actually i did get caught uh, a couple times on my phone uh, uh, you know, just trying to find music to listen to. Imagine I had a, just a three hour, three hour podcast to listen to. This is 2015. So there wasn't a lot of podcasts back then, or I didn't even know what it was back then. But, uh, if I had a long form episode to listen to, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have gotten caught. I wouldn't have been in trouble with my boss because I had to keep looking for more things to listen to because I didn't have a long form podcast to listen to. Now I take walks in the morning. I'm listening to dream champs. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, on audio platforms, you need to think of it more like radio and less like television. Television, no one wants to sit through uh, uh, a three-hour episode of Friends, <laughs> right? I don't even want to sit through a half-an-hour episode of Friends. I'm not a fan of Friends, uh, as, you, as you can see. I don't even want to sit through 10 minutes of that. But definitely, people are not going to be able to sit through a three-hour episode of Friends. Uh, you know what I mean? So uh, half an hour... In that sense, yeah, it makes sense. But if you're thinking of podcasting more like radio, fuck Master Flex. He's been on the radio since forever. How long are his shows? I think they're about three hours, honestly. How much of it are you actually listening to? As long as the drive is, right? I don't think anyone's listening to the radio at home anymore. As long as the drive is, 
right? So essentially what I'm saying is if your focus is YouTube, then yeah, you might want to go for shorter episodes so you can get more clicks out of it. You do run into the, the issue when you start monetizing though, that you kind of get paid from the ads in your video. And now YouTube plays ads at multiple points in the video. So the longer you make the video, the more ad revenue you may be able to get because of the fact that that ad is playing throughout the entirety of the video here. You make it a 10 minute episode, you're probably only going to have one ad in it and, uh, you know, not an opportunity for more revenue through having multiple ads in the episode when you get to that point, you know what I mean? But it really depends on what your focus is. And ultimately it really depends on you. How much can you do? How much can you listen to? You know, there's no wrong answer here. As long as you're consistent with it, you can't have a three hour episode one week and then a half an hour episode the next week. You can't go from dramatic changes like that. It just, it just will wear your audience out because it's like, ah, oh, one day I want to listen to a lot of it and it's not that much there. You know what I mean? It's what you can be consistent with. It's what you can pull off. It's what you're comfortable with. There's really no wrong answer here. Uh, you can totally focus your podcast on YouTube. I have podcasters here that are more focused on YouTube than Apple and Spotify. Their show is live on YouTube. So most of their uh, th thoughts on what to do on the show is put behind the concept of doing a long, a long video. So like I said, there's really no wrong answer here. Now, if you guys have any questions in the chat, feel free to ask, free, free, feel free to ask anything you have on your mind um, concerning this topic or future topics. But yeah, there's really no wrong answer. It's really about what you can pull off and what you can be consistent with, you know, really. And a lot of episodes are probably going to be the same answer. A lot of it is about how consistent can you be with it and what to really think about. So, like I said, what to think about? Think about if your focus is, is the video. If it's the video, maybe you want to have a shorter video. That way you get more clicks on it on YouTube. Then again, remember that you are also are going to have less opportunities for uh, monetizing. There's going to be less ad revenue because you're going to have less ads in that shorter video, right? Now, if your focus is Apple and Spotify, if your focus is, a, is an audience that is commuting, traveling, uh, exercising at work, people that can't dig into their phone every 10 minutes, you're going to want longer form videos, longer form audio, sorry, longer form audio. You're going to want longer episodes for that audience. YouTube, Apple, and Spotify have different crowds, the podcast watchers and the podcast listeners. So yeah, you're going to want to think about who's listening or who's watching uh, and where my focus is, where my focus is at, right? Um, me personally, like I said before, I am a, I am a hybrid podcast watcher listener. Cause I will play podcasts off of my television, which is Roku, which has uh, YouTube on it. I will put a podcast on, on YouTube and then I will do other things. So I'll, I'll have the video playing, but I will definitely be editing or, you know, cleaning up, doing something while this video is playing. So I'm listening to it. And then when something interesting catches my ear, I will turn and look at, look at the television. And then I'll say, all right, well, that's cool that I caught that. You know what I mean? That's cool that I caught that. Right. So I am like a hybrid of it because I have the opportunity to watch and listen like at the same time. Right. And I'm always doing something else while I'm pot while I'm listening to podcasts, always multitasking. It is the multitasking is like the, the, the definitive trait of the millennial, right? That's like what we, uh, mastered, I guess you can say, I mean, I don't really like the term millennial, but apparently that's like our superpower for of that generation, the superpower of it. Right. But yeah, 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 yeah. That's my opinion on it. That's what I've come to collect my knowledge of seven years of podcasting podcast production. So, here we are again at the end of the episode, the half an hour episode, because this is what I can be consistent with. And my focus is YouTube. So I'm keeping the videos shorter so that uh, people don't get intimidated thinking I have to dedicate an hour to this. Right, that's my thought process behind this, too. That's my thought process behind this as well. So, yes, um, half an hour, half an hour, to 40 minutes, honestly, 
I think the other episodes have been 40 minutes so far. But yes, guys, thank you for checking in. Thank you for uh, stopping by. Shout out to everyone in the chat. Shout out to Darf. Shout out to Derek. Shout out to Spin the Block. Uh, I really want to connect with you, Spin the Block, too, man. Uh, let's chop it up one of these days, guy. Let's chop it up. Um, but yes, thank you, everyone, for checking in and stopping by. Uh, it's been an honor. Once again, you know who I am. Marv, the producer, owner, and creative director of Bravery Studios. Uh, what's going on next episode? What is going on next episode? This is tentative, uh, tentative, because I feel like this episode and what I had planned for the next episode may need to be spaced out a little bit. But uh, pretty much, I have what I had written here is: How often should you release podcast episodes? How often? Uh, and I might want to space that out. So I might actually change the topic tomorrow morning, depending. Uh, if I get a different idea, because these are kind of like similar uh, topics. But yeah, how often should I release podcast episodes is the tentative episode for tomorrow. Tentative episode for tomorrow. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. We'll see what happens with that. And uh, yeah, man, once again, thanks for stopping by. More of the producer. Repping the Chicago Bulls today. <laughs> But yeah, yeah it's, it's always an awesome time here. It's always an awesome time. And uh, like I said, guys, I love doing this. Uh, Mondo, happy to finally be in front of the camera again. It's been a long, long, long time. So yes, thank you for stopping by. I will see you tomorrow, end of the week. We are going to be at the end of the week. We have been five episodes in, and it's been Mondo Righteous every time we go live. So, uh... Awesome. Yeah, this is awesome. This is awesome. It is awesome, dude. Very awesome. Peace, bro. Peace out, Dean. Let's chop it up. Let's see what Saturday I can get you in here, for guy, for an interview. Peace out, Darth. All right, guys. Stay brave. Hit me up. Join the Discord. Like the video. Share it. Thumbs it up. Subscribe. Follow. All, right, all the interactivity you can do. Leave a comment. Do all that jazz. But I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.